up everybody welcome back um, one thing I just got in the mail I'm excited to try out is the uh, radio master uh, r81 uh, receiver so um, this one caught my eye because I do run a lot of d8 d16 um, I really don't do anything long range uh, I have you know r9 arms things like that but I really haven't had you know decent luck with them and I really don't care for flying long range I just fly in my backyard um, but let's get into this thing and uh, see what it's all about um, kind of interesting that they're running a free sky protocol but I mean if you're running d8 d16 it's pretty common um, one thing I liked about this thing and why it caught my eye is the simplicity I do run a radio master TX 16s um, so it should work I have had some firmware issues uh, you know in the past with my uh, the new XM pluses and I do have videos on that too I'm gonna try and f link it into this video if for what it's worth um, but basically in the packaging you get your instructions here we'll go over that you get some uh, shrink tube um, and this thing is you know about the same size as the uh, XM plus uh, it, it's quite small uh, so you do come with the does come with the servo cable here um, you know, you can use the wiring. It is a softer wire, which is nice. Um, I like the softer wires compared to the uh, the much more stiffer ones. They're they're a little bit more difficult to work with. Uh, with this one compared, it's just you know a little bit softer, easier to work with. You can pretty much use your fingernail, and, you know, to you know strip it back. So, um, but this is it. I mean, it is tiny. It is, it is a little little receiver. Um, it is diversity. Um, Pretty much a very similar layout. You know, you do have your bind button there, um, and then you got your uh, positive, negative, and your S bus. Um, I don't know how well I can zoom in on here to see it, but there we go. So yeah, your positive, negative, your S bus it does have these two little holes here, probably for programming something from, uh, you know, Radio Master themselves when they built it. Um, but just a super basic receiver. The best thing is, it's about five to six dollars cheaper, eight bucks for these. So I ended up getting multiples. Um, I don't have anything to hook it in here, um, and I have no way to bind it. But I'll certainly get a video up uh, of this one, you know, and we'll test out flights and see what kind of range we can get on it. Uh, the other cool thing is that this is a D8. It is an eight channel, but it does have a ninth channel that does allow you to uh, get your telemetry back. Um, the XM Pluses, they just they don't output telemetry uh, with the version that you need to run with the, if you're using a non-FR Sky uh, radio. Um, but this is basically the instructions here. Like I said, you get your S-Bus, five volts. Uh, ground, actually it's five to 8.4, which is nice. Um, basically going over the bind method, very similar, powered on while holding the button, binds right up. Um, it does have a cool fail-safe protection on here with holding it. Um, I have yet to try that, but that would be definitely something uh, I'd be interested in. So this is the one thing here. You know, the receiver has a total of nine channels, eight channels plus an RSSI. Uh, so that's really cool. I, I'm really excited to uh, to have that and, and be able to output that back to the flight controller to get it in the goggles as well as the uh, the radio itself. Um, because the XM Pluses, they just, they don't, uh, they don't have that. And that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, so this is kind of a first look at uh, this little guy here. And uh, I'm going to pick a quad here, and then I'll get an installation video up here in the uh, the next week or two on, uh, on a quad. So uh, stick around. Uh, if you guys have any questions about on this thing, feel free to let me know.